a tequila and if you guys have been following along you know that each month we've been doing a different hashtags of topics and today I'm continuing with our hashtag April showers so Eric and I are going to be doing a personal story each that falls under that topic um, and you can watch the other videos that we have under this topic and basically we're covering motivation um, how to overcome things when it rain it pours different things like that um, so to get to more of a personal level, um, for the past few months, I've been dealing with what we can call showers um, that have been happening to me and things that I've been dealing with in general. Um, so I guess I can say th the three major events that have happened in the past five months, I would say, is I lost someone who I considered a grandfather. Um, probably in December and then I also found out that one of my friends who I hadn't talked to in a while actually committed suicide so that and then the last one is I actually had surgery which um, if you've been listening to the other um, episodes that we had I've been filling in everyone um, a little bit about that so when it came to my grandfather it was you know very it was, it wasn't, I guess it was sudden, but it wasn't. Um, he had been having different health problems over the years. And um, ultimately, um, in December, he passed. And it was difficult because it, I hadn't lost someone that close in a while. So now that I'm older, I was able to go with my mom and my grandmother to you know handle some of the funeral things so it's a, it's a different different experience for me and you know it was a sad time for my family um but you know to get through that i kind of le leaned on the supports around me um my family and my friends and uh my boyfriend you know everyone was very very supportive and helpful during that time so you know something eric and i always talk about is supports and um especially when you lose a person um that's very close to you that it is very it's it's very important to kind of try to surround yourself with people who are who are there for you can talk to you leaning sh like have a leaning shoulder or lending an ear um so that that was one of the one of the major events that happened or showers as we're referring to them this month and um, the second major one, um, like I stated before, I, I actually lost one of a, a close friend of mine to suicide. I hadn't actually talked to him in a few months, and it was really, really weird how I found out. But I'm not going to touch too much on that because it's still kind of something I'm dealing with. And that um, that is how can I how can I say this? Um, yeah, it's still something that I'm dealing with and trying to, um, I don't want to say move past, but kind of cope with. Uh, it's something, you know, we talk about going th when you're in it. And, uh, yeah, it's been, I've been in it for, with this for, you know, a few months now. And, it, you know, it's hard. It's not something that, you know, I want to stay too much on because, like I said, it's still very raw, still very they're um, still very much a part of my everyday dealing uh, so ultimately coping with that is really again turning to my support um, and my friend my friends boyfriend family all of that um, really talking to them and then um, you know it's it's really something I'm still struggling with so when when we talk you know eric and i talk about this stuff you know sometimes it may sound like it's easy things to get to get through or to get over or oh you know you just do this this that but you know ultimately the main thing and something i'll touch on a little bit later a lot of it is about you know finding those supports as well as knowing that it's going to take time to heal from some of these things that occur in our lives and not to rush it um, and not to, you know, yeah, the main thing is not to rush it and um, 
if it's really starting, you know, whatever's happening is really starting to hinder your everyday life is when you want to turn to the professional help, um, if necessary. Um, and then the third major thing that kind of happened was um, I had surgery and it wasn't a big, big surgery, but, um, I was pretty down for her for about, a, for about two weeks, but the whole healing process is about a month or so. I'm finally cleared. Everything's all right. No worries. So I'm, uh, very thankful for the doctors and all who, um, handled the surgery they they were great and um everything went very well and with that it was less it was less of a coping with that because I was I really in terms of that I wasn't too scared about it or I knew everything was I felt like everything was going to be handled um because it was a pretty common surgery so with that, more of my worry with that came from the financial aspect, which I know is something that everyone, almost everyone I say, has um, worries about. I was out of work for about two weeks, and, you know, with my job, it's only getting paid at certain times, so it was somewhat of a little bit stressful as to how I was going to be able to do all, uh, you know, pay bills and do all of this stuff. Um, but you know, something that, you know, Erica and I always preach is self care. And if we're not healthy, then, you know, we can't help other people. So again, I turned to, uh, my supports and kind of asked them what, what I guess can be done, what, how, you know, and also I don't ask for help ever. So, you know, I kind of asked for help as well as what advice they could give me. And they came up with some really great ideas and they help you know again supports have really helped me through a lot of the past uh few months and i think it's very important as you know erica and i always say is to find those supports whether they are biological whether they are families of choice whether they're your friends whether whoever community just a group of people that you can turn to um, and trust to help you through these showers that we have in our lives. You know, sometimes they can come one after the other, and, you know, in my case. Um, and like we talked about in our previous video, when it rains, it pours. You know, how can we deal with that so that we can keep going on in our everyday lives? So... For me, like I said, it hasn't been easy. Um, it's it's definitely been a struggle. Um, it's been the struggle, but I will say the struggle was made easier um, because um, of my supports. Because I, you know, was able to talk about it. Because. I used my normal coping skills that I that I have, whether it was listening to music or, well, it's really just listening to music at this point. Sometimes I like journal, but it's really more listening to music. So finding those things that works, that usually work for me, that help to continue to work for me. And um, just, I think the most important part for me, which, hopefully can help others is just surround myself with people who can um kind of help and guide during these times because you know when we're in it another one of our topics you know when we're in it sometimes it's really hard to see the light to see the other side to see that there are positives so having those people around to help kind of point that out for you can is very beneficial especially when we can't see it so like i said these past few months although it's been a struggle have gotten easier and the most important part of it is really also time um like i was said before time time helps you process helps you heal helps all of these things um that we we talk about and you know sometimes we can't push ourselves too far to be like okay we need to heal from this now we have to do this now it's sometimes we just have to take a break 
refocus, regroup, and then work to move on. So I hope this kind of helps you guys, you know, April, sh hashtag April showers, you know, <laughs> um, kind of understand a little bit of how I apply some of the things that Eric and I talk about on Hearts Chat to my everyday life and different things that I go through. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, you know, you can always leave them below in the comment section or, you know, email us all the social media that we are a part of, Facebook, Instagram. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for listening. Thank you so much for listening to Hearts Chat today, where we speak from the heart. We hope that you enjoyed our show. Catch us every Sunday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube channel and on our website, which is heartschatradioshow.com. Be sure to follow us on our social media pages at Hearts Chat Radio on Instagram and at Hearts Chat on Twitter, Facebook, and Periscope. We love to hear from you. If you have any comments or questions or topics that you want to hear about, you can email us at heartschat at heartschatradioshow.com. And for all of your personal relationship questions, please visit my blog from ericatart.com. Thank you for listening to Hearts Chat, where we speak from the heart.